Welcome to the world of Fire Creek, a 1968 film that weaves a compelling narrative, offering audiences a glimpse into the tension and drama of a small town under threat. As you reflect on this classic Hollywood production, you might find yourself pondering what classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite. Or perhaps, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Before we delve into the details, consider this. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Fire Creek? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's set the stage for some intriguing insights about Fire Creek. Did you know that despite its relatively modest reputation, the film boasts a stellar cast, including renowned actors who brought their game to the screen? The ensemble's performances contribute to the movie's enduring legacy. What makes Fire Creek stand out is its exploration of human nature under pressure, a theme that resonates universally. The town's ordinary residents find themselves facing extraordinary circumstances, prompting viewers to reflect on their own responses in times of adversity. As you ponder the film's narrative and characters, share your thoughts on the standout performances that left a lasting impression on you. Which actor or character resonated with you the most? Now, it's your turn. What classic Hollywood actor in Fire Creek was your favorite? And out of the many roles in this movie, which one left a lasting impact on you? Don't forget to share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to Fire Creek in the comments below. We would love to hear your unique perspectives. Henry Fonda and Injure Stevens, familiar faces from Madigan in the same year, reunited for the 1968 film Fire Creek. This western, featuring Ed Begley and Injure Stevens, shares a connection with another 1968 western, Hang Em High, as both films incorporated the Rock of Ages hymn in their soundtracks. Interestingly, Begley and Stevens, co-stars in both films, passed away two days apart in 1970. John Qualen, known for his role as Hall in Fire Creek, had a history with Fonda, sharing the screen in The Grapes of Wrath and collaborating in a total of eight films. Notably, Qualen also appeared in nine films alongside James Stewart. These connections weave a web of relationships within the film industry, adding depth to the ensemble cast of Fire Creek. In Fire Creek, Henry Fonda takes on the role of a villain a departure from his usual characters. Surprisingly, this marked the first time Fonda portrayed an antagonist in a theatrical film. Notably, he reprised this role in Once Upon a Time in the West the same year, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Adding another layer to the film, Fire Creek features the final performance of actress Kitty Kelly. Her contribution to the movie serves as a poignant moment in the history of cinema, making Fire Creek a notable entry in her career. Moreover, the collaboration between Henry Fonda and Jack Lamb extends beyond Fire Creek. Both actors shared the screen in Once Upon a Time in the West in 1968, and later reunited for The Red Pony in 1973. Their on-screen chemistry in multiple films contributes to the depth of Fire Creek's ensemble cast. These intriguing facets, from Fonda's villainous turn to Kitty Kelly's farewell performance, and the ongoing partnership with Jack Lamb provide a fascinating backdrop to the narrative of Fire Creek, making it a unique and memorable addition to the Western genre. Henry Fonda and Ed Begley, known for their roles in the classic 12 Angry Men, joined forces again in the 1968 Western. But this time, they weren't discussing a verdict. They were part of the ensemble cast in Fire Creek. Fonda, typically cast as a protagonist, took on a rare villainous role in this film, showcasing a new dimension to his acting prowess. Interestingly, it was the same year when he portrayed another antagonist in Once Upon a Time in the West. Adding to the film's depth is the collaboration between James Stewart and J.C. Flippin, marking their eighth and final appearance together in Fire Creek. Their cinematic history, spanning various westerns, contributes to the rich ensemble cast of the movie. The connection with Stewart goes beyond Fire Creek, as he and Fonda previously shared the screen in several other films. As the credits roll, a disclaimer emphasizes the fictional nature of the characters, a standard practice in films. However, the real drama unfolds on screen as Fonda's Bob Larkin and Begley's Preacher Broyles navigate the complexities of the plot. The film not only explores Fonda's versatility, but also serves as a poignant moment in the career of actress Kitty Kelly, offering a fitting farewell. 
the intertwining relationships among the cast, Fonda's departure from his usual roles, and the farewell performance of Kelly make Fire Creek a standout in the Western genre. The film becomes a unique entry in the actor's filmography, showcasing their adaptability and leaving a lasting impact on the audience. In Fire Creek, longtime friends Henry Fonda and James Stewart share the screen in one of only three films they worked on together. Their collaboration adds a layer of camaraderie to the Western, as they previously appeared as fur trappers in How the West Was One But Didn't Share Scenes. The dynamic between Fonda and Stewart brings a unique chemistry to the movie, elevating the on-screen tension. During a pivotal showdown between Stewart and Fonda, memorable lines like dot 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 two dollars a month and a homemade badge, you got no business laying your life on the line, and ill ride out unfold. Interestingly, these lines found their way into T.R. Na and G.S. Song Cinema from their 1973 LP Strong in the Sun. This connection bridges the gap between the film and its influence on later artistic works, showcasing Fire Creek's impact beyond the screen. Adding to the authenticity of the film, James Stewart's character wields a Colt M1909 double action .45 long Colt revolver with a distinctive appearance. Noteworthy details include the fitting of an 1873 Colt ejector rod and shroud on the barrel, creating the illusion of a single action revolver. Stewart's careful handling of the firearm, checking the loaded status by opening the cylinder out of the frame, adds a realistic touch to his portrayal. In conclusion, Fire Creek not only marks a rare collaboration between Fonda and Stewart, but also leaves a lasting impression with its memorable dialogue and attention to detail in firearm representation. The film's influence extends beyond its release, resonating in later artistic expressions. The ensemble cast of Fire Creek boasts a remarkable connection to the iconic TV series Gunsmoke. Producers Philip Leacock and John Mantley, known for their roles in Gunsmoke during the mid-1960s, played pivotal roles in Fire Creek's production. Calvin Clemens, the story consultant on Gunsmoke during Mantley's tenure, further strengthens this link. Additionally, Morgan Woodward, a frequent guest star in Gunsmoke's final seasons, brings his talent to the cast of Fire Creek. Moving beyond the Wild West, Fire Creek's cast extends its reach into the realm of Star Trek. Gary Lockwood, Barbara Luna, and Morgan Woodward graced the Star Trek series in 1966, while Brooke Bundy made her mark on Star Trek, The Next Generation in 1987. This crossover of talent from Western to space exploration adds an intriguing dimension to Fire Creek's ensemble. Delving into the realm of accolades, Fire Creek features four Academy Award-winning actors. James Stewart, Henry Fonda, Dean Jagger, and Ed Begley each hold an Oscar for their exceptional contributions to the world of acting. Their combined talent elevates Fire Creek, making it a cinematic experience enriched by the presence of these acclaimed performers. In conclusion, Fire Creek, with its ties to Gunsmoke and Star Trek, as well as its ensemble of Academy Award winners, stands as a testament to the rich tapestry of talent woven into this gripping 1968 film. As the credits roll and the echoes of Fire Creek's tale linger in your mind, take a moment to traverse the corridors of your own cinematic memories. The dusty trails, the haunting whispers, the moments that mirror the delicate dance of light and shadow in this 1968 masterpiece. Let your thoughts meander through the vast landscape of your personal connection with this timeless gem. Perhaps it's the rugged charm of the characters, the resonance of its themes, or the captivating spell woven by the old-school cinematography. In the quiet aftermath of Fire Creek's narrative, reflect on the fragments it has etched into the canvas of your cinematic consciousness. Whether it's a subtle smile, a contemplative gaze, or a surge of emotions, these are the imprints that make Fire Creek not merely a movie but a mosaic of shared experiences. Your story intersects with its frames, creating a tapestry uniquely yours. Now, I invite you to share your reflections. Let the words flow like a gentle stream as you unravel the layers of your connection with Fire Creek. Your thoughts are the unseen director's cut, enriching the collective experience of those who embark on this cinematic journey. Drop your musings below, let them intertwine with the essence of Fire Creek, and let's weave a tapestry of shared memories. Thank you for allowing the magic of Fire Creek to resonate with you, and for sharing your thoughts with us. Your presence in this dialogue adds depth to the legacy of a film that transcends time. Crafted with cinematic nostalgia and human connection, 